yesterday, uh, Bratina501 asked about the possibility of building one of my transmitter boards, uh, the AM stereo transmitter boards, into the uh, 9JY, if it would be possible. Well, it would be a shoehorn fit if it was possible. But that's not saying it's impossible, because the way we can do it is with the ta-da miniature version of my transmitter. This, by the way, is just a partially assembled one I'm building for somebody else. This one, I designed this board back in 2006. And uh, I built a few of them, and I never sold any and never did anything about it. Uh, I put out a feeler to see if it was feasible to make them. And uh, because of how long it takes, I didn't, I'm not, still not sure if it is feasible to do it or not. You can see the difference in the size, considerable. And I have a working version here in a little plastic box. And it's playing my little MP3 player into this little AM radio here wirelessly. Now this is not a stereo radio, of course. I don't have a stereo radio hooked up right now because I've got too much stuff going on. <laughs> but anyway, this is the working version of it. And uh, this is running right now on AAA batteries. It's a little plastic case with a switch on it and everything. But anyway, uh, Surface mount parts were designed to be inserted by a machine, not by fingers. So I build these with the dork goggles and a pair of uh, uh, tweezers. <clears throat> they're, they're quite they're considerably difficult, more difficult to build than one of the full-size transmitters. But just to show you, it can be done. And uh, I printed a bunch of boards for these right here at the house. Uh, I made the boards up and got the ICs, and it's just the incidental components I have to get. So if people are interested in these things, I can make more, and uh, I just thought you might be interested to see the world's smallest, and I can say that with authority because I don't know of anyone else who's ever made one this small. Incidentally, I realize that uh, an FM stereo transmitter can be had for a couple of dollars now, and it's all because of the uh, what's called the ASIC, ACI uh, uh, integrated circuits, which stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. There was a need to make one for FM, which goes back to the BA1404 by Rome and the JRC uh, 2035 FM stereo modulator chip, which goes way back to the 80s. But anyway, uh, they, they never thought of a need that there would be a need for an all in one integrated circuit for the AM stereo, so they never made one. So, and for that reason, it takes nine integrated circuits what, uh, for what it does to uh, do with one integrated circuit to do it on FM. And that's why it has to be more complicated and why it's a lot more expensive. But anyway, that's it. There's a, oh, there's a couple of jumpers. There had to be because, uh, you know, making something this small, you got to, I was hoping to do it without any jumpers at all. And I don't want to make a double-sided board. That would be a real disaster. But anyway, there it is, the world's smallest AM stereo transmitter.